How much money can you make in your first 100 days on YouTube? Well, stick around and I'll tell you. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. And uh, as I mentioned in my video yesterday, <laughs> I finally reached my milestone of my first 100 days on YouTube. Uh, and I'd set myself the goal of posting 100 videos in 100 days. But as I said, I uh, covered all of this in my video yesterday. So I'll leave a link to that up in the top corner, uh, where basically I broke down all of the stats in terms of how the uh, channel had grown and so on uh, in that period. Now, one of the things I mentioned in there was about uh, the dirty word of monetization <laughs> and how on YouTube, you, in order to get monetized, you need to reach uh, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And a lot of people have that in their mind as a goal of something that they want to uh, reach. Uh, but for me, personally, it is not something that was ever top of my mind because I know there are quicker and easier ways to actually uh, earn money from the content that you are creating. And so what I thought I'd do in this episode or video, it's not an episode, is it? <laughs> Sorry, we're not on TV here. <laughs> uh, in this video, I thought I would share with you my uh, sort of basically cost revenue breakdown for the channel so far uh, to give you an idea of what might be possible. Now, I said in my intro, how much money can you make on YouTube? Uh, I'm sure if I'd been uh, a lot more <laughs> uh, pushy <laughs> in some of the products and services that I've got, uh, I probably could have uh, pushed this up further. But uh, really, uh, as you'll see when I start going through them, uh, it's not something that I really push as such in my, uh, in my channel. So uh, rather than how much money can you make on YouTube, it's just really a case of this is how much I did in fact make. <laughs> and I'm sharing this with you just so that you uh, don't need to think that you need to wait for this uh, uh, um, uh, YouTube monetization uh, to kick in before you can actually start to at least cover some of your costs. And that was one of the aims that I had was that I wanted to try and as soon as possible make this uh, channel at least self-sufficient because uh, I was doing it uh, as, you know, initially as a means of um, self-development, <laughs> so developing my own skills and things like that. Uh, but I didn't want it to be a sort of cost to me. I wanted it to be uh, basically covering itself. So that was my aim and I have achieved that in that it has uh, covered its costs. Well, kind of. <laughs> we'll, we'll get onto that. So the first thing that I thought I'd do is uh, talk about what are the costs that I've got. So let's uh, just bring up a little uh, overlay. I've not programmed these into my stream deck so uh, I'm clicking on overlays instead of buttons. <laughs> so these are the costs that I have got and uh, these are basically um, not including equipment, I'll come on to that uh, shortly. But uh, so first of all, we've got Ecamm Live. So that is the program that I use to produce these videos. Uh, and that costs $40 a month for the uh, pro version. So I use that in my uh, work as well. Uh, so I use it for in my Zoom calls and Teams meetings and things like that. And so the pro version allows me to do that. It also allows me to have um, uh, interviewees on or guests on uh, and so I don't do many interviews on uh, on Zoom as such just uh, the odd one or two here or there but I do use it on my uh, live stream so that uh, people can come and chat basically <laughs> so uh, so that's why I've got the uh, the pro version of Ecamm Live and that is $40 a month now all of these do have options to pay annually and I believe that Ecamm Live if you pay annually is a uh, 20% off I think um, now, I didn't actually pay for it annually. I paid for it monthly. Some of these I've done annual, some of them I've done monthly. If I was to have paid for all of these annually, it would have been basically a $1,500 upfront cost. So I wasn't prepared to do that for the channel. I wanted it to just sort of earn its keep as it was going along. Uh, the next one down is Squarespace. Now, that is what I use for my website. Uh, now, I also added on the, uh, there is a, um, an email marketing sort of pack that you can add onto it. And I did add that on because as you will find out, I've got uh, uh, one of the, the things that I do on my website is uh, I give downloads, digital downloads. Uh, and so I want to be able to capture those email addresses so that at some point in the future, when I do have other products and services that I may want to uh, just let my uh, viewers know about or people who have been to my website, then I will be able to do that. So there are cheaper alternatives, to be honest, for email marketing, uh, but it was just something that was all integrated and so uh, I decided that I would just add that on at this stage because it just makes it all seamless for uh, in terms of the setup. So I added that on and I did pay for Squarespace and that e-commerce package uh, upfront for the year. And so I've just divided that by 12 to get $23 a month. And that also includes, by the way, my uh, uh, Google apps. So my uh, 
take one tech email through Gmail uh, is all included in that as well. Next, we've got Epidemic Sound. Uh, that is what I'm using for my uh, music so that I am uh, basically not infringing on any uh, copyrights. Probably a good time to mention. If you are starting a YouTube channel, I would recommend if you're going to be using music that you uh, check out Epidemic. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have run this with my overlay on, should I? <laughs> there we go. Uh, you go to takeonetech.io slash epidemic uh, and there you can basically, they've got a massive catalogue of uh, audio, sound effects, music, and uh, yes, you can uh, use those. And basically the way that it works is you you whitelist your YouTube channel, your uh, any other social accounts, your Facebook, things like that, Instagram, uh, and uh, uh, Twitch as well. And so then you can use the music that you, uh, that you download on those and you don't need to worry about any copyright strikes. There are other ways to uh, get music. There is also, I should mention, built-in music in the YouTube studio. So the way you can actually download music from within uh, YouTube itself. So you can use those as another option. Uh, but I've just always found that there is a much bigger selection and it's uh, better quality in uh, Epidemic. So that is why I use that. So then apart from uh, apart from that, let me come back to my list <laughs> uh, of uh, things. So you can see the epidemic is basically $12 a month. And in fact, that was actually, I say that, uh, I say that, that was one that I uh, paid for upfront for the year because they had a special offer on it at some point where it was $144. It might be a perpetual special offer. I can't just remember to be honest. But in any case, that is how much I paid for it, uh, $12 a month. Uh, next one is Chew Buddy, and uh, unbelievably at $4.5 a month. Uh, I do pay for that my monthly, <laughs> a real cheapskate. Um, the Tube Buddy is what I use to uh, basically it helps me with all of my um, uh, a checklist basically as I'm uploading the videos. So it helps me with tags, things like that, making sure that I've uh, done all the things that I should do, the title length, all the, that sort of stuff. So uh, Tube Buddy is really uh, I think a no-brainer to be honest. So all of these ones that I'm starting with down here, these top four are basically I would say um, fairly. Uh, sort of essential to the channel for for me um and so if you're starting on youtube then uh, having a website not necessarily with squarespace uh but having these uh, top four is something that you might want to consider so the next one down is uh, restream now there is a free version of restream actually or free level and that is what i use to stream my live streams to multiple platforms uh, now with the free version you can stream to absolutely loads of platforms but the one that you can't do is you can't stream to a facebook page you can spe you can stream to your facebook profile your personal profile uh, but not a facebook page and because i wanted to start doing my uh, weekly live streams out to my facebook page i actually signed up for the uh, the paid version although i only i only did that last month actually for the first few months i just wasn't bothering going to my page uh, but anyway, so uh, that is an option, I suppose. Now, the next two are definitely an option for somebody who's doing a YouTube channel, uh, but we'll come on to why I use those a little bit later. So uh, I've got Calendly, which is for uh, scheduling appointments uh, because I do have ways that people can get in touch with me and book time with me. Uh, and there is a free version of that as well, which allows you to have one appointment, I think. Uh, but I wanted to have multiple different appointment types and things like that. So I went for the uh, paid version uh, and I also wanted to be able to uh, accept payment directly through Calendly as well so that it could link in with my uh, Stripe which is uh, for credit card payments. So uh, that is why I have a paid version of Calendly at $12 a month. Next I have uh, Zoom. Uh, now I do actually already have Zoom that I use for work anyway uh, but I wanted to keep this separate to the stuff that I was doing with work so I, uh, I created a separate account and there is, you can use a free Zoom account, obviously, uh, but Zoom can go up to 45 minutes if you've got more than two people on. Uh, but if you've got, uh, if you've got, yeah, if you've got two people on, <laughs> you can go any length of time, actually. But if you've got more than two people on, the limit is 45 minutes. And so I wanted to remove that limit and also add a couple of extra features like the higher resolution uh, that you can get. So uh, with Group HD, so that is why I actually pay for that. So the total of all of those services is, in fact, two, uh, sorry, is 119. So then what I've done is I've assumed that this is for four months. We're actually three months in. So just over three months, so it's 100 days. So, But I've assumed that, well, we're into the fourth month now, aren't we? So uh, that's basically $479.16. Uh, and then there is a couple of domains that I bought as well. So I bought my uh, takeonetech.io and also I bought takeonetech.com 
dot live as well so uh, they were about twenty dollars i didn't bother going and actually checking exactly uh, and that comes to 499 dollars 16 uh, or let's call it 500 dollars eh? so that is how much it has cost so far again this is setting aside equipment because i don't know how really to quantify the equipment because i had uh, some of it before uh, and there's a few things that i have bought so i specifically bought this microphone uh, for my recordings but again i was using this sort of before as well for some of the uh, work related uh, recordings i was doing where i've been making various different course material and stuff like that. So I'll probably do another complete breakdown of uh, what equipment I am actually using. And so we might want to uh, factor that in. But for the moment, these are the actual sort of running costs of the channel. So that is the uh, costs. Now let's now talk about monetization and I mentioned obviously that we can monetize before waiting for YouTube. So how am I doing that or how have I been doing that? Well, basically five different ways. <laughs> so first of all, there is buy me a coffee. Now this is something that I don't really publicize <laughs> or push as much as I potentially could. Uh, I mean, I could put this up here right now and say, if you want to support the channel <laughs> when my little widget loads up, if you want to support the channel, then go to buymeacoffee.com slash take one tech. Uh, and there you can go. And uh, some people don't really know what buy me a coffee is. So I should probably explain. Uh, you can go and just basically buy me a coffee for $5 or three, uh, three coffees for 15 or whatever you want. In fact, let me just bring you over to the uh, page and I can show you what it actually looks like. So here we are on my buy me a coffee page. Let me just take this other overlay off for a moment. So on my buy me a coffee page, you can go over here and it just simply says buy Alec a coffee. There you go. There's one coffee and you can support for $5 and you can add a little message in if you want. Uh, or you can buy five coffees or three coffees or 100 coffees if you want, whatever. It's just an easy way for people to basically make a donation to the channel. And I can tell you, having been doing this for 100 days and I drink about <laughs> a litre of coffee every morning before I start my videos, uh, I've definitely had quite a few coffees. So anything that goes into here you can safely assume it is going to replenish my uh, coffee deficit <laughs> my coffee fund so uh, that is how that works and there are other things you can do in here like book a call with me but I'll come back to that in a, a little while so that is how um, basically buy me a coffee works but again it's something that I do mention it in my uh, some of my live streams it tends to be in the bottom uh, of my uh, my little lower third that I have at the bottom uh, I also mention it in my uh, the descriptions as well uh, but it's not something that I sort of promote I don't say uh, on every video <laughs> uh, head over to my buy me a coffee link uh, page I usually just sort of say you know check out my uh, my uh, subscribe <laughs> button and uh, hit, you know hit the like button something like that so I don't really push the monetization things is what you'll you'll soon find out <laughs> or may have noticed so the next one is Amazon affiliate and uh, this is obviously a common one that people do uh, I am going to leave my buy me a coffee link up at the uh, the bottom corner, whichever corner it's in. <laughs> I'm going to leave that up there for now. Uh, the uh, the Amazon affiliate is something that I do. Again, I don't really do lots of you know uh, uh, reviews and things like that. I know some people just decide that they're going to be a review channel to get the uh, the sort of the Amazon juice, if you want, of just constantly doing reviews and recommendations and things like that. So I don't tend to do that. I just talk about the things that I do actually genuinely use. Uh, and then if uh, somebody's interested in them, then there's usually a link or there's always a link if I've mentioned a specific product in the description and people can click on that, go through to Amazon. And the way that that works, by the way, just so that you know, if you are not familiar, is that it's not necessarily just the product that they click on, uh, but once somebody has gone through to Amazon, having clicked your link, then I believe it's for 24 hours within that period, if there's anything else that they buy having browsed from your link, I might be completely wrong about that, it's something like that, that you also get any revenue from that as well. So it's not necessarily just the product. So I have mentioned products in my videos before and people have clicked on the links and people have bought things uh, subsequently. So I have received some revenue from that, but I'll give you the breakdown of the revenue in a little moment. Uh, and by the way, if you are interested in finding out of anything that uh, I am currently using in my setup, I've just got to get rid of this overlay again. <laughs> this is very uh, unprofessional, not really prepared for this. So over at my website, takeonetech.io, I do have a gear page. So if you click on the gear 
Uh, no, not that kind. It's my just the equipment I'm using. <laughs> uh, here I list <laughs> all the gear that I am using or recommending. And so here you can see I'm recommending various different things to do with my audio. These are the things that I use. And so basically this is a list of everything I'm using. And in cases where I've done a specific video about it, I always do include the video there as well. Uh, my teleprompter and so on. So basically any links that people are clicking on uh, in here are Amazon affiliate links as well. So that will take them to, uh, to Amazon and then obviously I will get the uh, commissions from that. So the next one is digital download. So I should probably come back to my website really. <laughs> if I come back to the website, uh, what we also have is my store. So click on the store. And what you can see here is, uh, well, first of all, <laughs> this is my little uh, notice. It says, wait, before you buy any of my overlay or icon packs, uh, you may want to check out the tutorials I've made about how to make them yourself. So I'm clearly not pushing the sales too much there. I could probably uh, do a better job of pushing the sales because uh, I'm just directing people to videos for how to do it themselves. But nevertheless, uh, here I've got basically three different icon packs for Stream Deck. I do intend to add more over time as well uh, as I sort of can be, uh, as, as I have the time to actually create them and uh, or not create them, but package them and things like that. Uh, because I, I do have loads of uh, different icons that I use on my stream deck. Also overlay packs is something that I will be adding at some point for um, Ecamm Live as well. Uh, I haven't been doing it at the moment so it's just the stream deck icons uh, and they're basically I've got an icon pack for 3,000 icons here for $15 or I've got a couple of smaller packs that are specific use cases like this stream deck calculator uh, and this uh, pro mouse ones and they're just $2 each basically so not exactly high ticket items uh, just there for people who have watched the video about them and uh, think that they may be useful for them really so that is the uh, the sort of digital downloads aspect. Now the next is uh, basically other affiliates. So there are quite a few other different affiliate programs that you can uh, sign up to. Uh, so one of them you may have noticed, I just snuck it in earlier, was my Epidemic Sound. <laughs> uh, so that is uh, another affiliate program that I'm a member of. Also I mentioned TubeBuddy earlier, well I'm a member of the TubeBuddy affiliate program uh, and so that is ways that you can basically get recovery recurring revenue if uh, people use your affiliate limp uh, limp <laughs> link <laughs> another one is uh, set app so that is something that I talk about because I use that for a load of the apps that I use so people who uh, sign up for that you don't actually get a financial uh, uh, gain from that as such but you do actually get uh, basically the way set app works in case <laughs> In case you weren't aware, let me just tell you about it now. I'm getting all of my affiliate links into one, one video. Setup basically is a collection of over 200 apps and you just pay one monthly subscription of $9.99 and then uh, you get access to all of those apps and all of the perpetual updates that come with them and they are adding more apps all the time and I've done a whole series of videos about some of the setup apps that I use and it works out a really cost-effective way to get access to all of these apps and to try out new apps as well. So it's something that I use and I recommend. And the way that the affiliate program works is if somebody goes to try setup by going to take1tech.io slash setup, they try it for a week and uh, they can download all the apps that they want and try them all out. And then if they go on to actually subscribe, uh, they will get, by using my link, they will get an extra month free and I will also get a month free. So uh, I'm not actually getting financial, uh, direct, you know, financial uh, reward there, uh, but it is just actually saving me money on the cost of my setup subscription, which I do use. <laughs> so uh, that is how, uh, how that one works. So then the uh, next source of revenue, whoops a daisy, pressed the wrong one there. <laughs> I gave you a sneak peek at the uh, results there. So the uh, the next one, in fact, I think that covers all of the uh, the affiliates. And the next one is consultations. So basically, if you go to my Buy Me A Coffee page, as well as being able to, uh, to buy me a coffee, uh, you can also, right at the top there, uh, just book a call. Let's talk tech and you can book a call with me uh, and it's all just done automatically through Buy Me A Coffee and you can book an hour of my time and then we'll have a chat about whatever it is that you need to do. Uh, there's also, having done uh, calls like this, then sometimes people want other products or, or rather other services from me uh, and so that's something that I can uh, talk about as well and so provide uh, provide those as well. So that is what I mean when I talk about uh, consultations. It's basically either those calls on buy me a coffee uh, or it is sort of follow on uh, work or things like that that have come out of the uh, out of the calls basically. So 
That is basically the five ways that I am monetizing my channel. So let's have a look at the revenue that I've got so far from the channel. So from the consultancy, the total that I've had is uh, $1,346. Uh, from Buy Me A Coffee, uh, there is $250. And I should mention actually with Buy Me A Coffee, it's either, as I've showed you, you can just buy the, uh, the odd coffee here or there, or you can actually become a monthly subscriber, uh, where, or supporter rather, where you're paying uh, either $5 a month or $10 a month recurring. Uh, and that is all included as well in this uh, $250. So that's from uh, ongoing uh, supporters, but also from people buying uh, the odd coffee, three coffees, five coffees, whatever they want here or there. Next, the icon packs that I mentioned on my website. So they are the total of that so far has been $109. Uh, from Amazon affiliates, I think the uh, number of sales I've had so far through Amazon is 18 uh, or that have been shipped, but there's actually four still pending. So, but you only, they only register the commission on actual shipped items. So uh, there is uh, four more still to come, but <laughs> it's not a huge amount. So if you're thinking that you're gonna make a huge amount on a few sales of Amazon, uh, then uh, that's not necessarily the case. And I think that the total amount of all of that product is $347. So $347 of shipped product on Amazon, and that is the commission that I've received from it. So uh, that's that sort of gives you uh, an idea. It's around about 2 or 3%, something like that. Um, the items that I tend to recommend, I've not done a lot of sort of big ticket items as it were. So uh, a lot of the things are little uh, connectors and dongles and things like that, that, <laughs> that people have bought. So that is, uh, anyway, that is just where, where I am with, uh, with Amazon. And then with those other affiliate programs that I mentioned, uh, the total is uh, $31. So it's uh, worth pointing out that, as I say, some of the buy me a coffee revenue is recurring because it's uh, monthly supporters. Uh, and then also some of the affiliate uh, revenue is recurring as well, because that's stuff that uh, will carry over on a monthly basis uh, for, you know, when uh, with TubeBuddy, for example, when people sign up to that, I will get a small commission for every month that they are a member. So some of this is recurring commission and some of it is fixed, but I haven't bothered splitting that out because we're only talking a few dollars here and there. So the total amount of revenue actually received so far is 1,749. Now most of this has come through Stripe actually. So the uh, the consultancy, the buy me a coffee and the icon packs have come through uh, Stripe. So if I go over to my uh, Stripe page for a moment. So this is basically from uh, May the 1st. Uh, in fact, I actually started the channel, uh, went live on uh, May the 14th, I think, uh, about 100 days ago. <laughs> uh, and so there you go. You can see the gross revenue is 1700 uh, And then the rest is basically coming from... Uh, where are we? The uh, the other forty nine dollars is basically the uh, the Amazon affiliates and the uh, uh, the Amazon and the other affiliates uh, and a couple of other things where it's it's coming in from elsewhere. So that is basically a summary of the uh, the revenue. So let's have a look at how that all stacks up with some totals. So the total uh, revenue is, uh, there we go, 1700. The costs are around about 500. And then there are some fees. So that revenue is literally just, uh, you know, the cost of the items that were uh, purchased or services that were purchased uh, but then there is some fees in there so around about four and a half percent something like that depending on what it what it is so buy me a coffee has a little percentage there's credit card fees and things like that and stripe fees and so on so uh, that amounts to about 78 dollars something like that so there we go the total is uh, 1100 dollars basically so that is essentially the sort of uh, net profit of the uh, the channel in 100 days and that does not include my time. And bear in mind as well that some of those uh, those um, uh, consultations and things like that, that is actual time that I'm I'm trading there as well. Uh, so the if you look at it in terms of 100 days, it's basically averaging out at around about $11 a day. So <laughs> if that puts things into uh, perspective a little bit for you. Uh, but it does just show that, you know, you don't have to wait, as I say, for YouTube to uh, back up the money truck because you're going to be waiting a long time. <laughs> but in the meantime, there are ways and things that you can do to uh, try to basically uh, monetize what you're doing on YouTube and uh, to uh, sell the services that you've got. And if you are creating some sort of content or 
So for example, my icon packs, I not, don't really plan to make a living out of creating and selling uh, icon packs and overlays, but if it's something that you're doing anyway as part of your channel, you know, whatever your channel or your niche is, then there's always ways I would think that you can maybe package up some of what you're doing and uh, and sell that on to people who uh, value what you're what you're doing. And the same with the consultations. You know, usually people have got some sort of topic that they're talking about in their channel, unless they're just talking about total nonsense. <laughs> and so I would imagine that there would always be uh, people who would be willing to uh, you know or want to know more. And uh, uh, although you know my uh, my content is largely tutorials uh, what I found is there are a lot of people who although they can sit and watch the video they would actually just like to be able to be talked through things and ask questions and stuff as they are going along so uh, perhaps that is something that you may have not thought about that you might want to think about but in any case that is all I've got to say at the moment it was just a little bit of a summary because I thought that people may uh, may be interested to see uh, what you can do uh, and YouTube in 100 days and uh, just putting a little bit of sort of effort and thought into how you are going to package these things up as products and services and uh, with that I will wrap it up but if you have found this useful then uh, don't bother with the like and subscribe button <laughs> head over to my buy me a coffee page buymeacoffee.com slash take one tech <laughs> because that is what fuels the uh, the channel at the end of the day so I won't make a habit of being that pushy I don't like being pushy to be honest so maybe you don't need to go there Maybe just go down and hit the like and subscribe button instead and uh, share it with all your friends so they can uh, they can also come and support the channel. <laughs> so that is genuinely all for me tonight today. So uh, until the next time, have a great day and I'll leave a link to some more YouTube-related videos over in the bottom right over there. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>